three every business day, I bring you unusual option activity. And today, well, today's one of the days when I get to talk about some really good stuff. So we're going to get right into it. It is the 25th of January. I am John Najarian. I've got the goods for you today, folks. Three at three. The disclaimer is, this is for educational and informational purposes only. Full stop. Before you act on anything that I'm about to describe, please make sure you understand that all investments involve risk. There is no way that you can make an investment without that, folks. Uh, so I think you should make sure you understand what you're doing before you invest in it. And, you know, for all my friends at Wall Street Bets or all you Robin Hoodsters and all the rest, I love you. Um, some of the folks on Twitter were saying, gosh, a lot of these people on CNBC, they don't respect the retail trader at all. I respect each and every one of you. Um, many of you trade in ways that I would not. That doesn't mean that I don't respect you. The only people I don't respect are people that do illegal stuff in the market. And every once in a while you see that. But the folks that I do respect are anybody that puts their hard-earned money on the line to make a trade, an investment or a trade. Those are the people that I respect. So for all of those Wall Street bets, even though I'm not one of those guys that wants to take my retirement and put it on black and say, go, and then it's a binary outcome. Um, I don't want to do that. I don't think people should do that, but I am not critical of you if you do that. I'm not thinking you're less than me. In fact, you're probably uh, a little bolder than me if you're somebody out there doing that. So again, Wall Street bets, Robin Hoodsters, as long as you guys understand the risk you're taking, have at it. Intellectual property rights. What you're about to see now is our intellectual property, which means that we have registered marks, trademarks, patents, copyrights on virtually everything you're about to see here. So please ask us before you use it. That's all I'm saying. And uh, soon I hope to be back out there with my buddy Bernie doing a little shredding. You know, come on, you guys knew Bernie was a shredder, not a skier. I'm a skier, Bernie's a shredder. That should give you a little idea of the difference between the two. But you do notice that Bernie is socially distancing there. How about this one? From Friday, bullish call buying with the stock at 1345 in BlackBerry. They bought nearly 10,000 of the January 29th expiration. That's this Friday calls at the 13 strike. They paid 72 cents. So this is almost a million share equivalent. A million share equivalent at 72 cents would be $720,000 trade. This is a little bit less than that, but we dived in, of course, because we see strong, unusual option activity. That's what's my trigger. That's what's Pete's trigger. By the way, Pete will be on the halftime report. Who He was on the halftime. I'm about to show you some of the things he was talking about. But also, Pete will be on the 5 p.m. show tonight, 5 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you check it out. All right. So how did these BlackBerry traders do? Well, Pete's talking about the short squeeze stampede. And there you see BlackBerry up $4.53. Bang! <laughs> and that was 32% jump, my friends. So let's say you had 1,000 shares. You made $4,500. You put down 13,000 and some odd dollars, depending where you got in, and you turned it into 18,000. This is a thousand share trade we're talking about now. Now, on the other hand, you could have bought 10 of those calls for 72 cents each. Every option is for 100 shares. So actually, every option is $72. So a 10 lot would have been $720. That $720 investment worked out rather nicely for you if you take a look at this and say, well, let's see. So they were only up 149% um, from that previous close, $1.90 to $4.74. So roughly, let's say you had $4 of profit. 
So you put up $72 and you came back with $400 in profit. Came back with $474 in total, but $400 in profit. So you put up 70 and you came back with 400. Yeah, you get the idea. It's a nice trade. Um, on a 10 lot, that $700 investment turned into $4,700 investment. My investment, was, which, which was a little larger, and again, some of you have trade much bigger than me, but I like to trade 100 lots, so this one cost me $7,200 to get in, and it became worth $47,000. Bang! Ha <laughs> ha! That's why we trade options, my friends. If you'd like to learn more, you could go to marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. That is marketrebellion.com. That's our website. And if you put in get started with that hashtag right in front of, uh, right at the end of the M on com. And so it's marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. You can see that we do uh, educational and coaching and mentoring for people who want to trade cryptocurrencies. Really? Yeah, really. A couple of young guys that work for us are seven-figure traders in cryptocurrencies. We also do stocks. We also do options. We also do technicals. Uh, so if you want to learn about any and all of that, you can go to marketrebellion.com forward slash get started. I'd encourage you to do just that. Unusual activity. Yeah, we got it in spades, my friends. Let's talk about Pete's final trade, which was Marvell. M-R-V-L. Big technology play. That was Pete's final trade today. And here's our unusual activity for the day. Whoops. Where's that? Oh, is it down there? Uh, well, not sure why we don't have that one, but nonetheless, I'm going to press on, folks. Virgin Galactic. So Pete talks about Virgin Galactic. These calls expire this week for Virgin Galactic SPCE. We also, and by the way, you thanks to all of you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Just checking it out here to see exactly how many of you have done that. Y O U T U B E. YouTube, if you just go to the YouTube channel and in that search bar, if you type in Market Rebellion, let's see. Um, yep, 10,300. Thank you, folks. We're going to live up to what we said. We're going to be giving away books. We're going to be giving away hats. We're going to be giving away uh, courses and everything else to thank all of you for making that happen. So thank you, my friends. We don't take it lightly that you guys put that kind of faith and trust in us. We really appreciate it. So let's take a look at GoGo. GoGo, um, the stock was $13.68. It's up $1.41. You see that there. Pete saw unusual buying in the February 20 calls. Look at that, 25,000 of those GoGo. That's internet when you're up in the air on a plane. But look at where it is. Stock is up 11% to 1350-ish, let's say. Do you think I'm buying those February 20 calls? Nope, not a chance. Buying a lower strike, selling a higher strike. I'm all about moving the odds into my favor. You YOLO traders um, that think you only live once, which you're probably right about, by the way. Um, I think uh, I feel more comfortable having a reasonable amount of money on the table for the uh, investments that I make, for the trades that I make. I don't want to put it all on black, like I said. I put it all on uh, my skill as a trader rather than asking the market to give me that miracle, that home run. I want to bet that the stock goes up between now and February expiration, so I buy something closer to the money, and I sell a higher strike against it. By the way, our buddies over at Voyager, um, that is the crypto broker that Pete and I uh, own a decent chunk of. We are 
couple, I guess, of the largest uh, uh, shareholders of Voyager. We appreciate that. We think Steve Ehrlich, the CEO over there, has been doing a fantastic job. He assembled a great team. And we think that the fact that you can trade 50 plus digital assets with no commission, commission free, and you're not just sitting there. You don't have to make it in a market order, folks. You tell them what price you want to pay. So, for instance, Bitcoin right now is 33206 If you say, John, I want to pay 33000 flat. I don't want to pay 33206 Put it in. If and when it gets to the point where somebody on all of, the, I think they use 15 different operators that they send the orders to. If one of those operators decides sold, it's yours, then you bought it at 33. You don't have to pay market orders to get commission-free trading. So check it out, Crypto Made Simple. It's on your iPhone, it's on uh, Android. You can go to the App Store or Google Play to get that Voyager app. Their desktop is dynamite. Wait till you see it if you haven't already. That's something you'll wanna see. All right, let's get to three at three. Remember, first of all, our trades today, because I was trading a lot, I couldn't get all the charts and everything I wanted up. But the trades that we were trading today were um, Marvell, MRVL. They were Space, SPCE, and GoGo. Those were our three trades today. So unusual activity in those. Now let's take a look at the questions that you guys have shot us. Questions to at John Nigerian or at three at three underscore UOA. Rocket, look at BB. Yeah, I did. That's why we trade options. Thank you, John Najarian. Bang. That comes to us courtesy of at J-W-E-I-S-S-S-S. So that's four S's for those of you counting. So Jay Weiss says, thank you. And we say thank you right back to you, Jay. Appreciate it. Um, you know, trading does get end up giving you a pretty big ego but I don't think I ever have had or ever want an ego so big that I won't say thank you to somebody who's showing me kindness as well. And I'll offer it to all of you without you saying it to me. Um, I think the more courteous we are to each other, the better it is. So anyway, thank you, Joel. Thank you for that. Um, that BB trade, Blackberry. Yeah, that was a thing of beauty. Bang! How about a Jaguar fan? Well, um, am I a Carolina kind of fan? Yeah, I am. Um, now I'm a little bit of a uh, Washington football team fan. I know we don't say Redskins anymore because they're not the Redskins anymore. They are the Washington football team. Um, and my friend, Ron Rivera, who was my brother Paul's roommate at Cal, was the coach of the uh, um, Carolina uh, that's Carolina Panthers, though, not a Jaguar. Carolina Panthers. Um, but nonetheless, the question was, am I a Carolina kind of fan? Yeah, I am. And still like a lot of those great players down there, uh, like young Christian and some of those players that are just awesome. I was sad to see that Luke Keekley had to uh, retire early because of some of the massive hits that he'd had in his career. But there are some great players on every team. And my brother Pete was lucky enough to fly down and enjoy uh, Kansas City Chiefs uh, game last night. And boy, Mahomes and uh, Kelsey. Oh, how about it? Tyreek the streak. Nobody can cover that man. Nobody. And he gets so low when he makes those cuts. Oh, my God. I'm sure I would have run right out of my knees trying to catch that guy uh, or try to plant and turn with that guy because... That's just too fast. But anyway, yes, I am a Carolina Panthers, not Jaguars, Andrew, Panthers fan. So thank you for asking. Stock replacement, Stevie Vicks. Stevie Vicks said, I think this is the best advertisement for stock replacement strategies you can find. My buddy Stevie Vicks, um, Stanford guy, I think. I don't hold that against him, even though I briefly went to Cal. Um, but Stevie Vicks, his handle is at Vix Contango, C-O-N-T-A-N-G-O. Stevie's a smart guy, folks. If you're somebody really into the uh, Greeks, 
of option trading, this is a great follow, Stevie Vicks. And he says, well, did you notice this, John? In a disclosure filing, it was revealed how Speaker Nancy Pelosi on December 22nd bought 25 Tesla call options with a 500 strike price and an expiration of 2022, March of 2022. So she paid about 500,000 for that trade up to about 800,000 by my calculation. But um, this is from the Senate as she disclosed that she bought 25 of those calls. Um, by the 8th of January, I think that position was worth about a million four. So nice trade, Speaker Pelosi, nice trade. 10,000, yeah, baby. Now we're 10,350. So thank each and every one of you. I already did, but thank you again for subscribing to Market Rebellion. It will allow us to do more things with YouTube. So thank you, folks. If you'd like to learn more about Market Rebellion and our offerings for subscription products, go to marketrebellion.com forward slash UOA. That is marketrebellion.com forward slash UOA. Hey, folks, appreciate all of you joining me here today. I hope you got a little something out of it. Remember, even though I try, I had to rush through, I had three trades today, and they were Marvell, they were Space SPCE, and the third and final was GoGo. -Go. Those were our three bits of unusual activity. We'll have more for you tomorrow. Please tell a friend. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, you could still do that. And maybe you'll still even be in the running for a prize. We'll do those prizes later in the week, draw some names, and we'll tell you on air who won. Thank you. If you'd like to ask questions, send them on through to either my Twitter account, at John Najarian, or the at sign, the number three, at the number three, underscore UOA. Thank you, folks. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.